All right, folks, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I see my beard's all jacked up here from sleeping. But uh, making a quick video on, like, what's an alpha male, beta male. You hear this stuff a lot. Um, and I had to look it up real quick. Adam Conovore, I think, C-O-N-O-V-E-R. Not the brightest guy, so my... I think I always tell my wife, I didn't go to college, my vocabulary is horrible, but hopefully I can get messages across using a limited vocabulary. Adam Conavore, Conavere, however you want to say it. Um, but he had this, I watched this video like a couple years ago or last year, whenever it came out. <clears throat> and he talked about how alpha male and beta male is a social construct. And it's like, well, no, it's not. It, it's like, and this is what Joe Rogan argued with him about, but I think we've got to understand about all these things. We're too caught up in today's society, right? And what's even a social con, uh, construct? I wanted to do a whole video on social construct as well, but right now this is just going to be a mix of it. Maybe I'll do another one, but I think I can get it both in one. Uh, but a social construct and it just it just it just trips me out like we've got to go back to like we've got to get out of this age that we're in now right because it always comes down to as well is that today is completely different right i lost my train of thought so i'm trying to get it back but we've got to go back to ancient times like caveman days right and that's where because caveman days technology's gone everything's gone you're literally going out hunting your food and coming back you know hunting and gathering you know small tribes and this is where like there's no so social construct in those time frames right because there's nothing you're literally out in the wild just trying to survive right um you know and i'll, I'll take a brief little detour on that sense it's funny how these days now and it's like, I don't know when like shaving for women became a big thing, but it's like, imagine now if like women didn't shave their legs, their armpits, all these things. And they talk about carrying on the human gene or, you know, ca carrying on the human race as cavemen. Like you would literally be, you know, reproducing with, you know, a woman that's not all soft and supple and these things that we worry about nowadays, right? It's like, ah, that's why you can't even get caught up in like what is considered beautiful and sexy. Like that's all a social construct too, because when you're in that survival mode, that, that caveman days, like this stuff doesn't matter, right? It's like pure instinct and gut and like brains, right? <clears throat> there was my little detour on that, but, uh, you know, and it, I think the one thing I didn't, well, I haven't watched the video and a year whenever it came out but he's like you know it just depends on your environment like if you're a gamer or a coder there's alpha males in that and it's like gaming and coding to me that's more of a social construct than you telling me like an alpha male is someone who can beat up anybody like beating up somebody that's not social construct that's like literally i'm face to face with you you pissed me off i'm beating you up right so it's like if anything, coding, gaming, all this crap, that's a social construct, right? Saying that I can lift more weights than you, I can run further than you, I'm smarter than you. Those things are not social constructs, right? To a certain degree, there is a social construct in knowledge because of that. But you got to think of it once again in ancient times. Like we've created these social constructs to where we can create different levels of alpha male yes there are gamers and coders who are more intelligent than me right but that's the social construct telling me that i can i'll tell you right now any man that can go out and know the or woman that can go out and know the um you know what plants are good for food can build a shelter can hunt can this and that is way more alpha than any man who can ever code right because when all this comes crashing down you're going to see who the true alphas are it's going to be the ones that can do that stuff so if you don't have that basis of those things you're not a male alpha in any way shape or form i don't care how smart you are i don't care any of that 
I'm guilty of it myself. Like I used to go camping a lot as a kid. My mom's boyfriend at the time was a big camper hunter. We did those things. I don't do that anymore, but it's like, that's a true alpha male. Like you've got to have the brain and the bronze to a certain extent, but all this other, uh, knowledge that if we've acquired a majority of the time that's all freaking social construct when it comes down to it back in the day you've got to see it this way that's why if you want to come back i don't know the uh correct definition of what it is but when they used to say like a renaissance man right that could do everything not only was he smart but he could pick up a rock and mold these things right that's what the the original alpha male was smart enough to know how to create the wheel and then get that freaking hammer and chisel and chisel that crap out. So it's like a true alpha male <clears throat> is someone that can not only lift heavy, run, do those type of things, but is smart in his own sense, can carry on a conversation with somebody and bring knowledge to a room, right? Now, don't get me wrong. It might be like, hey, yeah, I couldn't tell you anything about coding. I couldn't tell you anything about surgery. I couldn't tell you anything about whatever, right? But when it comes down to it, you know when to speak, you know how to bring value to a conversation, you are a very intelligent person to where you can pick things up. And like I said, add value, know when to speak, know when not to speak. And because no matter what, doctors could literally be sitting there talking about something and you can add value to a conversation. And you can't be afraid in the sense of like, you say something and they'll be like, oh yeah, like we already know that. But it's in the concept in their mind to where they're like, you know, think like, geez, how does he know that? Like, he doesn't know anything about this. Like, how does he know? And, uh, you know, I would say in that sense, like a doctor, right? It's like, well, you know what happens when you get an infection, right? It's going to start pussing and this and that. And then like getting red and spreading out. And it's like, well, yeah, you can, you know, simple things. It's common sense and thinking things out. But that's the true alpha male. Right. You don't have to tell me like it's it's one of those things where my wife and I were watching a show a while back and it was like they took all the different age groups. Right. It was like 20 to 20 to 30, 30, you know, or whatever, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69. Right. And then they did all these different things, memories. It's some. uh of course, some experimental show on Netflix. We watched a couple months back. Um, but it's the same thing. It's like, oh, who can untangle something, right? Who can uh, work a phone right? Or who could use a map properly? And who could do this properly, right? And then the three people that were running the experiment, they all bet who was going to win that challenge. And then also who was going to... Uh, uh, win all of them as a whole right when it came down to it everybody everybody was surprised i think it was the like 20 to 29 year olds took first in the whole competition and then next were the old people and then like the 30s to 45s or whatever and 45s to 50s were behind them so it was literally the newer generation and then the older generation in second right and it's because you acquire that wisdom throughout the years and <clears throat> and it was just interesting but I think we've got to understand like there is such thing as alpha and beta and you've also got to understand that in your lifetime even throughout your day you are alpha and beta but the thing is is what are you a majority of the time right you're going to as a man lose uh, control and become emotional even though that's not a, a man's trait plain and simple like don't get upset about it if I say it, but that's true. That's how the way I look at it too. No, you're supposed to be level-headed, calm, and cool. It's what it is. Um, so something to think about there, like when they give this whole alpha beta, right? Like I said, it's that I'm assuming that would be kind of what they what the Renaissance man meant, you know. And I said it in a past video. It's like the jack of all trades, the master of none, right? It's that same thing as if you get older, you know, you if you tune into or talk to a lot of like younger guys who are strong and they're in there and I, I don't remember what video I was watching back in the day a long time ago this was probably like seven eight years ago 
and this bodybuilder was talking about like, oh, I went to my dad's house and helped him uh, move a bunch of stuff in his backyard, even though I could deadlift, you know, like 400 pounds when it came up to picking like this weird shaped boulder, almost like a, a strongman competition. He's like, my dad's just like picking it up, throwing it. And I'm like struggling trying to pick it up because I'm used to just picking up a bar. It's that equivalent of, they say like that old man strength, right? But it's that old man strength. And then it's that wisdom that you've acquired throughout life. And that's what that true alpha male is. It's kind of jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, I can frame out a room, you know, I also read books and I'm also, you know, compassionate to my children and knowing what needs to be done in that environment. So something to think about on alpha male, uh, beta male, we're all it throughout the day. Your goal is to figure out how to be more alpha than beta. And um, there's nothing wrong with either, right? Everybody on this earth has a, a purpose and their purpose, right? Beta males have their purpose. I think I saw, uh, I was watching like a Discovery show or an Animal Planet or something like that or something on Netflix probably. And they're talking about gorillas and they're talking about the importance of an alpha beta and a beta male. And sometimes beta males are alphas, but then once they get their spot taken, right, it's like you're no longer the alpha. Like everybody's an alpha at certain times. And then they talked about like that was the... Um, the importance of beta males because in reality in the animal kingdom at one point those alpha males yes you're now a beta but you have that alpha experience and then it's your job to guide uh, the younger generation so they're like they're the ones that when they were alpha they came to beta status and now they were uh, guiding and mentoring the younger ones why because unfortunately the alpha has to lead by example. I go, I do, this is me, I take charge. And sometimes as a beta or a younger child, a younger person, a younger animal, you don't have that concept of like learn from others' mistakes, right? We don't. So we go out and we make our own BS and we mess up in our lives and we do dumb things. But it's the, and, and as the alpha, sometimes you don't have that ability to guide because you're too busy and go 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 mode like this is what we need to do blah 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 you can take advice from others but you've got to go and you've got to make those decisions and it's those alphas as they drop in rank are now the ones like yeah you're still an alpha as a sense but now you're you know you're not the supreme alpha it's like anything in life right as we're young we're invincible we can do whatever for me you grew up partying a lot right i could drink till three in the morning get up at six o'clock and go landscape all day out in the sun and it doesn't matter not even drink any water shoot now i don't even do landscaping anymore i could sit there and have like five drinks go to bed at 11 30 and be hurting the next day right it's just that progression of life that's how it goes right so uh, it's the same thing with grandparents right and my wife struggles with this but it's like that's the importance of grandparents right you and I, we need to break from these kids. We need to go out and relax. Grandma, grandpa, get over here. Come watch these kids while we go do our thing, right? Now, they've got the experience of raising kids. Yeah, they're going to spoil them a little bit. That sucks, you know. Probably feed them too much candy, whatever. Let them get away with some stuff. But uh, it's beneficial for the kids as well, right? Because it gets them out of their routine, whatever. Um, so, something to think about. Alpha, beta, we're all them women as well. There's alpha males, there are alpha women, there's beta women. Um, once again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's once again, having the wisdom or the awareness of where you are and stepping your game up. Uh, you might not ever become the true alpha or the true beta, you know, a true alpha, but you can move up in those beta ranks or move up in the alpha ranks and not be the big one, but you can do those things. So you've always just got to be pushing and, and trying to be better. Uh, I'm going to end it there. I could probably ramble about a bunch of other stuff, uh, but something to think about and keep in mind as you go through life, like you it's going to be okay. Like we, we're all progressing back and forth going between these things. So once again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Have a good one.